number one radio station all day long, every day. www.batamufm.com Good evening, listeners, and welcome to the weekly news brief from Cameroon with Bissom Geraldine Tani. The Cameroon Bar Association is already experiencing a new regime as the elections that went down on the 31st of January yielded a new president for the Bar General Assembly and a new president for the Bar Association. Barrister Tumfo Niko Hale, who was known to be of high value to the Bar Association after aiding in the creation of a law school, emerged victorious as the president of the Bar General Assembly. Meanwhile, Nyi Kanga stood tall in the midst of his counterparts as he won the position of the president of the Bar Association. Worthy of note is the fact that this election of the new regime follows the swearing-in of hundreds of young lawyers who are also expecting nothing but the best from the people that will lead them. While the fight against terrorism is still waxing strong, the Boko Haram set is still trying to make headways in Cameroon. In their most recent attack in protocol with neighboring Nigeria, 70 persons were reported killed as members of the group attacked a mosque and houses of the residents. The Cameroonian and Chadian troops are equally doing their best in resisting this group both in Cameroon and in Nigeria. Meanwhile, the French president stated that France is providing logistics, weapons and other operations to support the African countries involved in this fight. The 49th edition of the National Youth Week activities have been launched under the theme Youths and the Preservation of Peace for an Emerging Cameroon in 2035. Held in Bafut this year, the Minister of Youth Affairs and Civic Education, Dr. Bidung Pat, called on the youths to stand firm in bringing peace to the nation. Following the launch, it has been a busy week in all parts of the country so far as dancing, Singing and other socio-cultural activities in schools have been keeping the youths busy as they showcase their ability to serve as future leaders in different ways. This is also backed by the Bilingualism Day today, the Sith, under the theme Bilingualism, an essential tool to face the challenges of globalization. And onto our human interest page. It has been a sad start of the year for many Cameroonians as road accidents have become so rampant and uncontrollable. The recent one which claimed more than 11 lives occurred on Tuesday involving a 30-seater Kento bus which had a brick failure and a Prado SUV. The bus was reported to be carrying students of the Pan-African Institute of Development West Africa for a field trip to Kumba while the Prado was heading towards Boya. Many are still fighting for their lives in different hospitals, while the public still ponders on the effectiveness of the road safety control in Cameroon. With this, we call it a wrap for our news this week, making headlines in Cameroon. And until then, I am Bisson Geraldine Tangi. My sister, you don't hear? Hear, wait, you don't start again? No, not beside, I don't start again, no. You never hear of Batimu FM? Now, which one be that? But Timu FM na son radio way he did not find Mutumbu. He get fine, fine program then. For example, he gets Africa Family Show, Pepe Soup, Talent Promo, and other fine, fine thing them. How have you listen to me? Now you re talk. Just type www.batimufm.com. You go see how for listener mo. Wait, you feel even listener for your phone self. Just download tune in app. Then search Batimu FM. Now so easy. You be really my friend, oh. You know if you find it, you know, tell me. Batimu FM, na big time entertainment radio. Eh, my friend, na so my friend. <laughs>